Promising seeds being planted in the nation's heartland when it comes to healing some of the searing divisions we've seen in recent years over politics. That's right. ABC senior Washington reporter Devin Dwyer introduces us to two lawmakers crossing the aisle at the Minnesota State Fair with some constructive results. Hey there, Devin. Hey, Amy, you know, this is a feel-good story we all could use more of. A Trump country Republican and a blue state Democrat meeting with voters together to prove that civility in our politics isn't a lost cause. The crowds come for cows and corn. Gotta get the corn. Deep-fried candy bars, legendary butter sculptures, and a side of political straight talk. We're losing all of our rights. We're losing our choice. Do trans lives and black lives matter here? I think they do more for some people than others. At the Minnesota State Fair, America's deep political divide in the COVID era is on full display. Well, who's on the wheel? That is uh, Governor Walz. Well, that's the governor. That's the governor right there. Enter two members of Congress, a Republican and a Democrat, on a mission to find a path toward healing. I mean, what's a Trump country Republican doing with a Twin Cities Democrat at, at the state fair? Well, I mean, I think, it, number one, it's more like that than people realize. South Dakota Republican Dusty Johnson and Minnesota Democrat Dean Phillips have teamed up for a first-of-its-kind political exchange. My We're, name's Randy. Hey, hey Randy. Randy. I'm Dusty. Visiting with voters in each other's home districts in an effort to tone down the rhetoric and find common ground from civility how do you get from that to compromise it seems like a much harder ideal trust. to reach no. you know trust. you can't work with people you don't trust and you can't trust people you don't know the two hitting the road to a twin city suburb for a pilot program with conservative and liberal strangers on how to confront our differences Dean and Dusty enlisting the help of Bill Doherty, co-founder of the nonpartisan group Braver Angels. We started this organization four and a half years ago, and we've done a thousand conversations. Doherty is a marriage therapist by trade. I've never seen politics invade the marriage like it has now. We heard for ourselves how our politics are straining our relationships. It's tragic for my son, and he doesn't see his cousins now. After the George Floyd, we came to some blows and discussions about the racial disparities. You can't go anywhere today without people looking at you and before they even know who you are, they want to know, okay, is this person vaccinated? Is this person toting a gun? For two hours, the participants with the congressman in the mix sharing personal stories in search of mutual understanding. I, I literally had someone tell me that I have to be very careful if I put an American flag on my house because mm -hmm. I happen to live in a blue area and when I put my American flag out, I look red. And pairing off red and blue to try truly listening to the other. Conversations leading to revelations. I was able to sit here as a conservative and you blue people are, you know, you're real people. You know. <laughs> we do not have to be two separate teams, you know, we can be one team. A call to get back to basics. People have to focus on what they have in common, what they care about together. As two yeah, political yeah, optimists in Congress try to help oh, lead the way. I learn from him, he learns from me. And if that can be just a tiny bit of a seed that we metaphorically plant at the State Fair and tonight at our Common Ground Tour, that's a darn good beginning. Now we just got to water it. Are those the Marthas? Water those seeds, guys. Love that. Congressman Phillips says he plans to visit Congressman Johnson's district in South Dakota soon. Meantime, the Bipartisan Policy Center, a group that organized these, organizes these trips, says they have 30 more planned for this fall. The idea being, uh, Amy and TJ, that by spending time together, they'll build trust with one another and with voters. And remind all of us, of course, that civility takes practice and maybe a corn dog on the side. Okay, but that's just <laughs> this is two. two guys here. This is just two. Is this really going to catch on? Okay, I mean, is just is this a nice one-off story, or is there any hope this is going to expand in some way? You know, TJ, there is a belief uh, in this town that our politics are so poisoned right now that it, that anything is needed to try to get things back on track and they hope that this experiment getting more republicans and democrats to spend time with each other and with voters on both sides of the aisle they may actually be able to make some progress well i'm going to stay optimistic as i always do yes i love you that too. about you uh, tj hey, all right thank you so much <laughs> Deb. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime.
We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.